Okay, so you're back to AGE. Uh, that's kind of short for Air Gunner's Edge. Uh, maybe you heard of it. Anyways, Dreamline uh, FX, obviously. We're going to go about the hammer weight. Since I haven't seen anybody do it. Got to take your trigger out. I'm not going to get into details, videos. Like I said, this isn't going to be so much for amateurs. So, kind of got to know what you're doing. Okay, anyways, hammer weight. This was not easy to get apart. Yours may be, it may vary. I'm going to show you what I did to get mine out. And it wasn't all that easy, but it wasn't that hard either. Okay, first off, you have an O-ring right here. You have two slots right here. I took a zip tie, pushed that O-ring all the way out, got that O-ring off. <clears throat> you can spray a little penetrating fluid, help it come off easier. Uh, this was stuck together. Uh, my gun is three years old, so I have some wear and tear. And uh, I actually thought they press fitted this in here. Uh, they did not. It was just had a little rust on there too. If you saw my other video, you'll understand. Outside shooting, hunting, in the rain. It happens. I do it. Whatever. I take care of it and clean it up. Best way I can recommend is uh, this little guy. I did hit it with some penetrating fluid. Not just WD, but deep creep oil. Uh, wiped it off. After the O-ring was off, I did heat it up, uh, vice grips with a piece of rubber, and then I let it cool. Just in case there was Loctite or anything like that on there, I wasn't sure, but I could not move it. So, anyways, there's the two slots. I have a nice thin punch here. Fits right in the slots. Put this, make sure it's pretty snug around the hammer weight. Get it there, hold it with my finger. Anyways, you get the gist of it. Once that's uh, right up against there, you can put something down and protect it, whatever, but you kind of need a little shock, so. There, right, we'll put that up. Anyways, hit that, hold it, and, oops. Hit both sides until I saw a gap. And then I was able to grab it, uh, vice grips with a piece of rubber on it, just twist it, and it came out. So I just put this back on here just to demonstrate. So that is how you get your hammer weight out. No one's shown it yet on the YouTube video. And uh, I would recommend just cleaning it up a little. And what I plan on doing is just a little never seize. Uh, just so that doesn't happen again. I don't know if it will. Uh, hopefully not. Anyways, just clean it up. You can actually see I did have a little rust on here. Not lying, if you watch my other video, I explain, get caught in the rain, but uh, dry lubricant is great, unless you're an outdoorsman and you need protection from wa uh, water. Dry lubricant doesn't change uh, under climatic conditions, meaning summer, fall, spring, winter, not in that order. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the velocity of grease will change so you may experience differences. I do like dry lubricants um, as long as it can protect against moisture and rain. And uh, well, that's pretty much it there. So I'll let you guys choose what you're gonna use, a grease or a dry lubricant. And uh, that's up to you. So anyways, this is about the hammer weight. Okay, so what I picked up was the tungsten hammer weight. Non-impact, obviously, it's a Dreamline. So, we're gonna do a weigh test first, and uh, okay, sure we are. I already know what the weights are, but I wanted to show you guys. Okay, there we go. She was being a little fussy, but I needed the flat surface, that's why I got marble. I wasn't trying to get fancy. I just needed it flat. So, Stock hammer weight, Dreamline. Oops, hold on. Make sure I zero it out. 13, that's better because that's what I got the other five times I tested. Now, here's the tungsten. 
26. That's what I got last time too for the other five, ten times I tested it. So you got a 13 gram difference and uh, just wanted to share that information with you guys. And you can definitely feel it. So I'm going to see how this does. Like I said, I'm going to be shooting the 27 grains again. And I'd even like to hit 30 in 22. Uh, but we'll wait till we get there. But I have a feeling this is really going to help with the heavy stuff. And uh, like I said, I can keep the spring pressure low. <clears throat> and uh, I think that's about all the information I got for you guys right now. Uh, I would just clean up inside, which I'm going to do. Give it a nice polish. Me personally, I'm going with the dry loop. Um, just to let you guys know what I'm doing. Yeah, I need to take this apart more often, I guess. and Because uh, I didn't even realize this is this bad and uh, I got caught in the rain to wipe it down even to my took my ear gun and blew it out but as you see that's not always uh, good enough so I think a good spray of silicone inside not excessive but just enough uh, will really help out just repel the water and moisture so when I get this all done I'll do that and uh, that way I'll have a little more security because if you see the other video, which you probably will, you'll see the amount of uh, nastiness on there. So, But I'll clean everything up, polish it, and uh, I'm going to be good to go. Hope that information helps, or at least you appreciate it. And uh, <coughs> This really isn't a part three, so this is just a Dreamline hammer weight in comparison and removable. Removal. Alright, you guys have a good one.